All right, everybody. So the Crystal Dragon print took 18 hours and 1 minute 39 seconds. This was done in King Rune filament. And I still noticed some of these little, uh, where is it? No, they fell off. But I still noticed some of those little globs of almost like burnt filament. So I still need to investigate some of that. Yeah, there's one right there. Let me see if I can get it. Well, anyway, this was done in 0.2 layer height. Uh, we got some ugly tips here that are not perfect but uh, other than that it looks basically fine nothing detached the brim held everything so let's see if we can get this off of here well there's a real stuck on there Let go. Well, bed adhesion is excellent. I tell you what, this textured PEI sheet that comes with this printer is it's pretty hefty. I hate peeling off brims. There we go. All right, a little tight, but we can loosen that up. Ugh. All right, you go there. Okay, so let's see if we can peel all this brim off right quick. Or mostly. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this off. Thick brim. Okay, I'll have to meticulously go through and remove all this brim, but I just want to get it to where it will flex and everything right now because there's a lot of brim here. But all right, well, let's see how this all done. Okay, so nothing failed. All the joints are good. It's fully articulating. It articulates just fine, except for some tightness. And the joints in there look okay. I did a uh, dual line or a two line mod infill modifier on this, so it's lower infill, but it's a uh, thicker lower infill. So it's a way to drop. You can do it in Cura. You can drop your infill percentage, but you can uh, make the lines the infill thicker. So it does actually save on some material because you're not printing as much infill uh, overall. And it can make the part stronger overall by increasing the line, the uh, amount of in the uh, amount, the size of the infill itself bigger. Not the quantity of it, but the size of it. If I understand that correctly. So, all right. I think we got most of the brim off here. Like I said, this was King Rune tri-colored silk filament, as you can see. And I did it at lower temp. This was only like 200 or 210, I think, which is fairly low for silk PLA. Um, silk tends to get shinier the higher the temp you use. And it tends to be a higher temp, but um, I went a little bit lower just to try to prevent any kind of um, stringing possibly because this filament has not been used in a while and I'm sure it was not, I'm sure it had a little bit of excess moisture but I never heard any popping or hissing or sizzling or anything like that so it wasn't uh, too um, overloaded with uh, humidity or moisture or anything. I love printing these without brim just because I hate removing the brim. But let's get a look at this. So other than 
I mean, everything else looks fine. It flexes just fine. And all that. Other than the two little problems on the, uh, the little ugly horns here, or the tips of these two crystals, everything looks fine. The filament acted a little weird as far as the way, I guess it was the way that the model was oriented. I could have oriented better to get some better color graduation, but you can see the different colors, the gold, the red, the blue, and uh, it kind of looks cool. There's like a stripe down the middle of the body. So, yeah, this is all, this is a Crystal Dragon from Cinderwing 3D, and uh, it came out really nice. Other than those little bitty problems at the tips of the crystals. So, the Artillery Sidewinder X3 Plus will do a Flexi Dragon with Silk PLA with basically no tuning or anything like that. So, that's pretty good. So, we will continue to evaluate this machine and uh, look... For some more things to print and we will see y'all in the next thank y'all